What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve for a negative variable. Okay, so here we have negative c divided by seven is equal to two. Okay, so how are we gonna solve this? Well, again, remember the point is to isolate the variable c by itself, okay? So since we're dividing by seven here, in order to undo that, we're gonna multiply by seven, okay? But remember, what you do to one side, you do to the other. So we're going to multiply by 7 over here also. Okay, so now I can start simplifying some things. So I have a 7 on top and on the bottom of this fraction right here, right? So they cancel out. They just reduce down to 1. So all we're left with on this side is going to be negative c, okay? Negative c. And then that's going to be equal to 2 times 7, which is 14. Okay, so here I have negative c is equal to 14. However, this cannot be my final answer, okay? Because I need to get rid of this negative sign somehow. So how do I get rid of that? Well, what we have here is actually a negative coefficient, okay? So let me show you this, okay. If we had, if this were positive c, okay, if this were positive c, can you see this would be the same thing as positive one times c, okay? But if it's negative c, like it is in this case, then here this would be equal to negative 1 times c. Okay, so this negative c is the same thing as negative 1 times c. Okay, so this negative c right here, I'm going to rewrite it as negative 1 times c. Okay, and then again I'll set that equal to 14. Okay, so again the point is I want to isolate this variable c right here, okay? So in order to undo this multiplication by negative one, I'm gonna divide by negative one, okay? But remember what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? So I'm gonna divide by negative one over here also. Okay, now let's simplify some things down here like we did up here originally, right? Because we had the same number on top and on the bottom, right? So they canceled each other out. So same thing is gonna happen here. We have the same number on top and on the bottom, right? Negative one and negative one. So these cancel each other out. Okay, so all we're left with on this side now is positive c. Okay, and then that's gonna be equal to, equal to 14 over negative one. So what's 14 divided by negative one? Well, 14 divided by one is 14, right? And then a positive number divided by a negative number is negative, okay? So we have negative 14 right here. So here, c is equal to negative 14. Okay, and this would be your final answer. All right guys, so that's how you solve for a negative variable. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.